I see you have the the dramatic tattoo on on the on the forehead. Yeah. We have the album coming out. What what was the the first inspiration for like okay I'm starting on this project? <clears throat> when did it kind of become what it is now? Um. So first, we all know what Illmatic is and what the album means to hip hop as a whole. Um, what it means to me um, is, you know, like I always pattern myself, my, my rhyme capabilities and my storytelling behind Nas. So that album to me is like, there's no better um, first album uh, for me than Illmatic. Um, and then creating a friendship, getting to meet Nas, him adhering to like my, my style, my music and getting on my album and doing uh, Why You Hate The Game, which is like one of my favorite rap songs period in life uh you know Illmatic's always been in my mind he lost his best friend will i lost my best friend will uh billboard and so it was just like everything like he you know he was from queens i'm from comp and i just felt like we had the same type of story and i could always relate to him even though he years younger so drill is now you know all these kids is you know it's drill it's drill it's drill this drill that and so like i gotta get their attention because i want the new school to understand that like my school, we, you know, like it can, we can coexist. And also in drill music, like when you hear me on a drill beat, it's going to be a message in it. You know, and that's why my album is called Drillmatic Heart Versus Mind. It's because like every day we wake up, we feel indifferent sometimes. Like we don't wake up every day, you know, feeling a hundred percent. Some days I wake up and I'm happy and I love the world. And other days I make up, or I wake up and I'm very angry with things that are going on. Angry with people are upset or disappointed with people that are, uh, you know, around that, that haven't, that are not giving what I give. And so that's what it is. It's heart versus mind. Every single day, there's a different challenge for every single human being on earth. And so um, dramatic is the best way for me to describe, uh, you know, my classic era of music that sort of molded me into who I am and then what's going on now uh, with these with these kids doing today. And so I originally, I gave dramatic to Dirt the title I, because he's from the shy and yeah. it's like the whole drill thing and so i felt like um somebody from chicago or somebody from um london or, or one of these towns where they really just you know do um or or created the origin um of drill music i felt like i should give it to dirt so dirt uh, i talked to dirt i text dirt i was like yo call your next album dramatic and he was like yo that's fire <laughs> and then two years passed and he didn't call nothing to real magic. So I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna reel that back in. And so, uh, yeah, and when you talk to Dirk, you ask him, like, it's, you know, uh, you know, some fans and comments will say, you ain't talk to Dirk. Like, I don't, I don't get what that is. But um, yeah, like, you talk to Dirk, you ask him, and, and that story's gonna write true. But yeah. Drew so the, the idea of the title came a couple years back. Yeah. And then when did it, when did it, like, hit you? Like, okay, yeah. Because it must have been an idea that, it's what I call a Sharpie idea. You write it down, and then no matter what, you flip through the pages, you can see it. It yeah. sticks with you. But well, like, Hit Boy, Hit Boy hit me on January first, and he said, "What you doing?" And I was like, "Shit, I'm smoking." <laughs> and he was like, "We should do an album." And I was like, "When?" He was like, "We should start today." I'm like, "All right, where you at?" He's like, "I'm in my studio." So I put him to the studio. We did three songs that day, three songs the next day, three songs the next day, and we had nine. And we was like, you know, he's like, we need a title. And I was like, dramatic. And then Nas was in the room um, the day after we did the, you know, our, on the fourth day, Nas was in there working on, um, you know, music with hit. And I ran the title by him and he blessed it. And so then I ran with it. Cause you know, that's one thing I always want to like, you know, I don't want to step on no toes, especially yeah. not with, uh, you know, people I look up to. So, um, yeah, got Nas blessing and we start to run it and then it took on a life of its own. And now we're here. Um, we're about to put out the best rap album. And I don't know how many last years. I don't care who got an album come out, coming out. And I don't care who dropped like nothing's going to be better than this album. And I don't care who saying something better than that. I'm going to be lying to yourself because I know what I put into this. I put my whole heart, my soul, my mind, everything that I am, I put this. I put into this album. I put more work into this album than I did on the documentary, The Doctor's Advocate. If I had to say two, like the pick two of my albums where I really damn near died creating, it was Doctor's Advocate and it was um 
and, and it's dramatic. And dramatic would be above that. Um, documentary, I was running off pure adrenaline, so I didn't even know what the fuck was yeah, going on. Yeah. I was just excited, happy, and just, uh, you know, elated to be in hip hop and people to be taking me and my craft serious. But dramatic will not disappoint at all, not a soul. And if it does, then you're just lying. You should just <laughs> stop, you, stop listening to my shit. Go look in the mirror and have a talk with yourself about your appreciation of real rap music. All right, well, we're, we're looking forward to it. But so sonically, and, and you know, this will probably come up right before the, the album drops, but sonically, is it inspired by the current like drill landscape at all? Or is it more so just trying to bridge the gap between? It's going to blow your mind, man. It's, it's, you've never heard me rap like this ever in your life, and you might not ever again. 